Hey guys, how you doing? It's HexDSL. Hello there. I have just finished playing, like literally like an hour ago. I finished my half an hour ago. I don't know. Anyway, literally I just finished playing the final station, which is a pixel art side-scrolling game. Um, it's a survival game, but not really. There's gunplay. It's got a creepy sort of horror aesthetic with these black out zombie people. It was a weird experience, mate. It was, I don't even, I played it for four hours. The whole game took four hours to play. And genuinely, I was just sort of, I was left at the end, stunned and speechless on stream. I kid you not, I was genuinely just, like, I don't even know what, I don't even know what to think. But the whole thing, the four hours, was massively enjoyable. I had a great time with it. Um, I, I literally had a whale of a time playing it. It kept me basically on the edge of my seat the whole time um it's a combination of the art style the music the the constant questions it raises um as to the world you're in so the plot is basically that you are a train driver where really you're just pulling buttons on the train the train drives itself and the government have set this thing up where each town has a blocker so the train can't go any further until you get the code to open the blocker seems simple right only there's this whole subtext where there's like, there was an alien invasion, but maybe not. And there are zombies who are attacking you, but you don't really know why. And there's a plan, plan, and you have cargo on the train that really needs to get to its destination. And I don't really want to say anything more. Um, but yeah, you, you, the, the, the synopsis of the game says, traveling by train through a dying world, look after your passengers, keep your train operational, and make sure you can always reach the next station. Make your way through swarms of infected at each station. Explore mysterious abandoned stations looking for supplies and survivors. That is literally the entire game thing. It's, that's literally the whole game. But it's the way it's implemented that makes it rather good. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm going to say the ending just... It was one of those endings where I found it... Even though I didn't really know what to say or what to think... Um, I felt like the whole game was worthwhile, you know, like the whole thing was worth it, even though I'm not sure I really get it. When I got to the end, I was like, I, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. And I can't, you know, I can't really say that um, about loads of games where I get to the end. Sometimes it's like, yeah, I finished, it's over and I move on. But this one kind of like it's sticking in my head, which is pretty interesting. And um, the game's priced at £10.99, but I got it from this, the, the current Humble Bundle, which may be still on when you're watching this video. I don't remember when the Humble ends and when this video goes out. Um, you can get the collector's edition for 1707, which includes the art book, the official sound, the official soundtrack, and the DLC. Now I haven't played the DLC yet. That's actually gonna I'm gonna get to that tomorrow night, so uh maybe it's good. I don't know. It may, maybe not, who knows? But the yeah, the DLC is three ninety nine on its own. So the whole game is like fourteen pounds summer if you want to get it on, you know. Um so yeah, that's that's not even that good a price. Is that good a price? Oh yeah, because it's got the OST as well. Okay, it's fair enough. Um, but yeah, this game looks like this, and the requirements are Ubuntu 1204 LTS, 1 gigahertz and up CPU, 1 gigabyte of RAM, and 2 gigabyte available storage. Yeah, you'll you'll run anything. Uh, it's I'm surprised it's got very positive um, overall and recently. Um, there's a few thumbs down here actually. Four hours, 5.5 hours. Uh, yeah, some spoilers there as well. We're not going to click on those. But yeah, there's a lot of thumbs down um, on the Steam page, which is interesting. Um, yeah, maybe they're all recently. Maybe people didn't really get it who picked up the Humble Bundle. I don't know. But let's have a quick look at the game, shall we? I've just hit the launch button. Uh, this game is one of those that really wants to keep your mouse. So there's no window in it and doing other things. This game like you, this game wants to keep your mouse. If you're a multi-monitor guy like me, you tab out stuff a lot. Yeah, it's not happening in this game, unfortunately. Um, let's have a look at the game itself. Yay, do my best. DLC! Uh, okay, so we just want to, like, if we just, like, start game. Um, oh, no, save data will be deleted. Um, I think we can live with that. Yeah, we can live with that. We can live with that. Um, because I think the opening of the game basically tells you tells you everything you want to know, I think. I think it covers it a lot. Here's, here's, like, it gives you a sample of what to expect. I'm only going to play the opening, and then I'm going to stop. Because I'd really, I think it's something that you'll know by now. You probably already know, like, right now, like, if you're going to like this game or not. There you go. Yay. Um, hmm. Yes, yeah, cigarettes and pistol ammo. No, no. Get off of you, fuckers. Yeah. You can also punch stuff with the right mouse button. I played it on keyboard and mouse. I see no reason why it wouldn't work flawless on the controller. And there's some religion. Or something. I don't, I don't really know what is in here. There's some, there's some outside over here as well. Oh, look at the outside world. 
And you can hit E on people to... Yeah, we've got more pistol ammo now. We've got more pistol ammo that we can shake a stick at. Whoa, 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 whoa. Even a pixel, even a pixel shaped stick, a pistol shaped stick. Yeah, we'll, we'll just explore all this bit, then it'll hit E to open stuff. And we'll go this way first. I've, I've played this before. I know what's coming. Shit, I don't remember them. I've got really adept at killing these people. There's the guy with the gun. That's, that's, that's cool. And uh, let's have a little look. See, down here. Oh no, they get, they get me. That's the opening. That's like the opening. That's the first few seconds of the game. Right there. That's it. That's all of it. And that, right there, is as much as I want to show people. Because I think if you're going to play it, play it. I did stream the whole thing. So if you go on my Twitch channel, you'll probably be able to find that if you're watching this video within a few weeks of me uploading it. Um, and the DLC, I hear, from what I gather on Steam, the DLC is like three hours long as well. So... It's not massively long for the amount of money you're paying, but I genuinely feel like it's worth the price to experience the, the game and the world they've made because it's really interesting. And like I said, I, I really don't know what to think about the end, but I enjoyed the whole game in its entirety. There wasn't a single point I was bored. I didn't feel like it went on too long. I just generally think, yeah, this, this game's great. And it's, it's unusual for me to do a video on a game after I've finished it. That's become that's a thing that I don't usually do. I suppose it with Black Mesa. But anyway, I've been HexDSL. If you enjoyed this video, uh, you can throw a like and a subscribe my way. Or if you are inclined, I do have a Patreon you can check out, and that would be muchly appreciated. And I also stream with surprising regularity, actually. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been Hex. Goodbye.